Okay, first off, don't give me any grief. I'm wearing sunglasses because the sun uh, is right in my face. And in order to give you some good lighting and so you can see my beautiful face, uh, I need the lighting and, and, and the sun's in my eyes. So bear with the sunglasses, it's all right. Anyhow, week four. Um, last week, I thought my BlackBerry was dead for sure. It was rebooting every five seconds, uh, well, every five minutes. Uh, that's quite literally every five minutes. Whether I was using it, whether I was on the phone, whether I was sending BlackBerry Messenger, whether I was just sitting there, it was rebooting itself all the time. So I thought it was dead. Uh, my boss had put in for a new BlackBerry for me, which I was excited, a new electronic device that I didn't have to purchase. Uh, unfortunately, they found out that I had another BlackBerry, because I told them. Uh, and that I was having problems with it. They wanted me to troubleshoot with the international AT&T folks, uh, but I haven't had to call them because suddenly, uh, like probably like two days ago, the thing just started working again. Uh, it's not rebooting itself. It's not having any problems. It's working quite nicely. So I think my BlackBerry problems are solved. AT&T, on the other hand, has pissed me off. Uh, go figure. I have the unlimited data plan with AT&T for the iPhone, which is about, I think it's like 49 or 59 bucks. Uh, in addition to that, I have another data plan here for international data. I'm paying an extra $60 for 50 megabytes worth of data uh, while roaming internationally. Uh, uh, plus I have to pay per text message. Uh, I can't use my unlimited text because I have to, uh, I'm paying international text message rates anyway. It's like 99 cents per text message. Um, so I have to pay for data, I have to pay for text. Text. So I was able to take the US unlimited text messaging off, which saved me 20 bucks. Uh, my minutes plan already cost me like 60 or 70 bucks. And I was going to take the unlimited US data plan off as well. They won't let you. You can't take uh, the unlimited iPhone data off even when you're not in the US and buying an international data plan. You have to have the unlimited uh, US plan and whatever additional international plan you want. So, ripping us off again. I swear I can't wait till the iPhone is on the Verizon network. Not that the Verizon won't, you know, rip us off somehow, but uh, I can't wait. I can't stand it on the AT&T network, but I can't live without it. I tried. That whole Blackberry Storm fiasco, I'm, no. Much happier with my iPhone, even though it's on the AT&T network, but one day they will be unlocked and I mean you can unlock them now I just I'd rather keep a locked phone the way it is I want my iPhone 3GS uh, for some reason I didn't buy one before coming here because I knew I was going to be paying so much money for international rates so I figured no need to spend the money and lock myself into a contract maybe I'll feel different when I get back to the US long term and maybe I won't want to be an AT&T customer anymore speaking of fights with corporate giants Marriott Marriott called me back uh, well, one of the one of the front office managers here at this particular Marriott called me specifically related to my internet complaint, my internet rant. Uh, she called on Wednesday while I was out to dinner. Uh, I didn't get back till after 8, 30, 9 o'clock from dinner, so I didn't get to talk to her, and I haven't been able to talk to her since. Uh, Thursday I had to work late, and um, Friday I just got back from work late. She was already gone. Saturday she's not here. Today's Sunday. I haven't even tried today. Uh, the thing is, I mean, she made it sound like we were going to work out something between now and the rest of my stay, so that, uh, I don't know, she just said we could work something out if I would come down and see her. Well, I haven't been able to see her. The thing is, there's not really much need to work anything out. I mean, Tuesday I become a Marriott Gold Rewards member anyway, because I've been here almost 20-something days, and I already had 20-something days on my stay, and once you hit 50, you're a Gold member, and you get all the free shit anyway. You get free internet, free this, free, you know, executive lounge access, you know, a bunch of free stuff. So, you can bet your ass I'll be down at the front desk on Tuesday pointing out the fact that I've already been here for 20 plus days and I already had 20 days on the thing and whether my rewards account reflects it or not as of yet, I'm, I'm a gold member and uh, I want the benefits. Chop chop. So, that's what my argument will be on Tuesday. Um, travels. Last week, uh, I think... I. I uploaded the video after I went to Bruno's last week. So, you know, I went to my friend Bruno's house and had a nice little dance party, uh, pool party, cookout, slash, you know, everything, and met a nice group of guys. Uh, Bruno's having another pool party today, so I actually bought a dessert this time. You know, I, I'm prepared and ready to go to Bruno's. Uh, I'm going to leave as soon as I'm done making the video, as a matter of fact. More time by the pool, more socializing, more French practice, which I have not done this week. 
Um, I couldn't take any more French in my ears. I just, um, I, I could. I just was lazy about it and was listening to music on the way to work instead, instead of my French lessons. Um, I have to, I don't know, recharge with my whole French lessons. I'm only on lesson three. I should probably be on like lesson five or six. Uh, had I spent some any amount of good time on it, I could probably be speaking some French to you now on my video blog. But uh, I just felt lazy. I wanted to watch some good old American TV, so I downloaded season two of Chuck from iTunes and watched the entire season over the last two weeks. Uh, it, it was a really good season. I'm, uh, I watched the first couple episodes last uh, when, the, when the season had actually started, and I, I wasn't impressed, so something else came on during the same time frame, and so I stopped recording Chuck. But now I'm glad I caught up with season two. There is going to be a season three. They're chipping us. They're chipping us. They're only giving us 12 or 13 episodes as opposed to 22. I'm kind of angry about that. But uh, I'm excited the direction that it went and how, they, uh, how the whole character is developing. So I'm excited for season three of Chuck. Um, other than that, oh, I went to the Louvre. I had a good time at the Louvre, even though I got there late. I thought the Louvre was open till 10. Unfortunately, only the entrance to the Louvre is open till 10. Uh, the entrance is just another place where people like to go and hang out and dip their feet in the water. Uh, the, the entrance to the Louvre is that big glass pyramid that you see in the Da Vinci Code uh, as he's entering the Louvre. I didn't know that that was the Louvre he was going into in the Da Vinci Code. Uh, I didn't know that that was the entrance to the Louvre. I actually thought that that glass pyramid and the Louvre were two separate items altogether. Not that they were, in fact, the same thing. Uh, stupid me. Now I know. I actually knew two days before I went, which, uh, while I, I learned it while I was here in Paris. I was discussing it with a coworker, and he's like, um, the glass pyramid and the Louvre, that, that, it's the same thing. That's what, you're, that's what you're going to see. So there's a whole bunch of stuff to see when you go to the entrance of the Louvre and take pictures of, and I was lounge, lounging around and doing that. And so I, was, I didn't actually start looking at the exhibits till 5. Uh, I was halfway to the Mona Lisa, of course, one of the more famous paintings there in the Louvre. Um, I was about halfway there and decided I was passing up way too much artwork and not knowing enough about it, so I went, was going back to get one of these multimedia tours. They have like a Palm Pilot uh, with pictures and other explanations and other interactive activities in addition to the sound stuff that you can listen to while you're taking the tour. When I asked the guy about uh, renting one, he said the museum was closing in less than an hour, and I, I thought he was being a French asshole, um, but he wasn't. Uh, I read the pamphlet more closely. And the entrance does stay open till 10. You can go take pictures of the glass pyramid, but the exhibits, they all close at, uh, they close at 6 that night. Uh, which kind of sucked, because less than 10 minutes ago, I just stuck my 9 euros into the machine to get my ticket to go see the exhibits. So I ran back to go see the Mona Lisa, take some pictures with that. Uh, you can see a picture of me and Mona smiling together on the blog. That's, a, that's an actual picture of the actual Mona Lisa. And then I pasted my picture underneath it uh, in a little... Mona Lisa Placard, saying that my smile is, of course, better, because I mean, it is. Uh, she didn't show any teeth. I mean, maybe she had a jacked-up grill. Who knows? Uh, I used to have a jacked-up grill. I got braces. I mean, maybe she needed some braces. Who knows? Anyhow, uh, after I saw that, I ran to the Venus de Milo and took a few pictures of that, and so that was my Louvre experience so far. Uh, I'm going to have to go back. Uh, there was a lot to see in there. It looked like a beautiful museum. I mean, it even looked better. I've only been to uh, MoMA back in New York once. And I never took the guided tour. I took a tour with a friend at the time. He was a friend. And uh, he had explained a lot of the paintings to me and a lot of the different artsy stuff. So I'm going to take the guided tour with the multimedia package. But for now, I'm off to Bruno's. I'm off to have some fun at the pool. And uh, I, don't, I haven't picked what I'm going to do in Paris next week. I got a book from my project manager that's in English that explains a lot about the different Paris activities. I want to do some traveling while I'm here in Europe. But, you know, I got some... Uh, the different places that I actually want to go see, Germany, Switzerland, maybe go back to London for a little bit. So I'm going to plan some excursions here. I'm on, I'm on this side of the water. I might as well, you know, travel some of the land and see it. So anyway, until next week, I'm having a good time. I'll see you guys later. Love you all. Bye.